Roughly 66 million years ago, an asteroid would hit the Earth, which famously wiped out the dinosaurs, alongside wiping out pterosaurs, plesiosaurs, mosasaurs, and several other animal lineages. For a long time, there has been great debate about whether or not mosasaurs were already on their way out before the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, or were at their peak in diversity. According to Oceans of Kansas, in the Conician stage of the Cretaceous period, around 85.8 to 89 million years ago, there came the first wave mosasaurs into the western interior seaway. These include genera like Tylosaurus, Clydestes, and Plesioplatycarpus. By the Campanian stage, 71.3 to 83.5 million years ago, there was a second wave of evolutionary diversity, including Tylosaurus or Hainosaurus bernardi, Mosasaurus, Globodens, Plioclaticarpus, and Prognathodon. By the time of the Maastrichtian stage, 66 to 71.3 million years ago, mosasaurs were at their peak in diversity and distribution, including moving into freshwater habitats with whatever Hart called the beginning of the third wave of mosasaurs. Darren Nash in Ancient Sea Reptiles also lists that some marine ecosystems had a minimum of 10 species of mosasaurs from several different lineages on the mosasaur family tree. Given how quickly mosasaurs diversified and took over, gaining a global distribution and dominating marine ecosystems, I think speculative evolution fans would have fun speculating how these animals might have evolved if the KPG extinction event never occurred. While the scientific consensus is that mosasaurs went extinct in the KPG extinction, some people of varying levels of credibility and notability in the field of cryptozoology have speculated on their continued existence. I will cover this myself in detail in the future, but for those wanting an in-depth video on mosasaurs and cryptozoology right now, please see Wild World's video on whether or not mosasaurs are still alive.